initially, uh, it heightened the horror that the mainstream felt about gay life. Nobody knew quite what it was, so it was, it was the queer disease. During the AIDS epidemic, uh, I was a volunteer at St. Vincent's Hospital. We would be assigned to a, a patient, and you would stay with the patient until he died. It was like a huge reaction against gay life. It was like, oh, gay life is really bad, it's really dangerous. All these really talented, wonderful people dying way, way, way before their time. And so, in a way, it's like you're, you're experiencing, at the age of like 35, what 80-year-old people are experiencing when you see all the people around you dying. Whenever we go to the hospital, we have to decide who of our three friends are we going to visit. I mean, the, the agonizing suffering and deaths of so many people in the prime of life, I think what this did was increase sympathy for these people. AIDS changed gay literature in many different ways. I mean, for one, it gave us something really serious to write about. It forced the mainstream to take gay life seriously. They realized there's this real painful drama going on and we have to take it serious. We can't treat gay people as a joke anymore. If they see it in a, in a, in a context, they're gonna understand it more than just hearing about it in the newspaper. It helped educate the mainstream about the diversity of the actual people who call themselves gay and lesbian. Even with the AIDS epidemic, which is the ultimate tragic homosexual story, the sunlight was still present.